hello everyone and welcome back to 13 nights of halloween and i'm once again joined by spoot what's up everybody and we are continuing to play some kuan trying to get some spooky ghost stuff and also talking about ghostbusters because we both really like ghostbusters so where are you yeah ghostbusters is pretty sick have you noticed that like this whole room is full of tiny spiders oh we found him oh there he is that's a lot of blood sacred cloth mercury oh so now i can remove the mercury seal yeah yeah bitchin um See if you gotta stab the body. That's a good question. Let me put away my my summon spider spell. I wonder if I get a better knife at some point. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Nope. You can't tell by the way I use my knife. I'm a stabbing man. No time to talk. If I had more attuned to singing, I'd be able to continue on, but unfortunately, that's where my improv stops. It's the part where you sing. Uh, Ghostbusters. It's really good. Yeah, uh, like, you, it's one of those movies that if you read about, like, the absolute batshit craziness that went on during its production, it's an, an absolute accident that it was made. Yeah, just to let you know, when Ghostbusters started, Steve Belushi was supposed to be in it. Yeah. And and instead, he went to go do the Blues Brothers, which if you read into how the Blues Brothers was made, also complete accident that it turned out as yeah. good as it did. Anything with... Oh, no. Oh. Oh, hi. What's up, baby? How you doing? No, you won't, you won't touch my hair? It, it kind of reminded me of that hand from um, Legend of Zelda, the one that asked for toilet paper. The hand from Glover? No, there's no hand in Glover. It's just the glove. It is the hand. Gotta love the glove. <laughs> no love, no glove. Have you ever seen the clip uh, from wrestling of JR? Oh, God, it's a ghost. <coughs> oh, no. Of JR saying, Glover now in stores. Gotta love the yeah, glove. Yeah, gotta love the glove. I remember that. All right. I Whoa, that's a lot of ghosts. <laughs> that's a lot of fucking ghosts. They all came Man. out. Those okay. dudes were like hustling. They were that. Again, if I had this job, I would just be like, "Fuck this, man." I'm not. Yeah, this seems like a really easy pass, right? <laughs> it would be the easiest. It's like this is in your family tradition. Now my fa my my new family tradition is being a baker. Yeah, it's just like I make hot dogs. <laughs> Japanese hot dog. What? Oh, that's not good. By fifty fifty chance, it's a woman. Father? Oh, it's our dad. Utsuke. Where is like Korea? Korea is... Oh, Korea. That's how you say his name, her name. That does not look like the spelling of Korea to me. I mean, if it were... If it's, like, straight Japanese, I would probably pronounce it Kureha, but... The song put her in a trance, and she disappeared. He's gonna do a smile. Please. Please help me find Korea. She's my daughter. Don't worry. I'm already worried by that phrase. I want to give you this also. It's five dollars. <laughs> Here's a subway gift card. There's something I need to take care of. I've eaten four sandwiches. Don't, on your next don't get the, the, ne the next sandwich is free. Don't get the meatballs. And be careful. You don't want to know how they're made. Let's just say I always see the spirits whenever I order the meatballs. Aren't you worried <laughs> about Koreha? Jesus. I'm worried why you're stuffing people into this box. Don't worry about it. Just they I too you had mom. the meatballs. <laughs> Ask how we make the meatballs. All right. Well, Dad's just saying. I'm gonna assume because that's the first time I've seen my dad. He just is always cutting, cutting jokes, putting people into boxes. He's just. We're out here playing baseball, and he was like, "Hold on, I gotta go fill my body box." <laughs> The most important. Does that door is, open? Yeah, I'm gonna open it right yeah, now. Yeah, I was gonna say it has to. Oh, but yeah, Blues Brothers, um, especially when you see that car crash. Oh yeah. It's it's easily one of the best car sequences in a movie ever made. 
and like it's borderline in a comedy having this Mad Max style like fucking car chase out of nowhere. Well, like the movies that preceded it, so you had like Smokey and the Bandit around the same time. You had Bullet, which was is considered like one of the high, one of the like the peak of car chase movies. That's true. There's actually something funny in the um, in Coming to America because recently Netflix did a um, the movies that made us, and they did one on a bunch of horror movies, and then also Coming to America. Apparently, someone told John Landis in the script is like, we need to have a car chase because at that point, every single movie had a car chase. Like, your movie was yeah. not a movie unless it had a car chase. And he said, like, we're not, first of all, never fucking tell my writers a thing to add again. And we're not adding this to a car chase. That's pretty good. It is pretty good. So, let me see. Now, I did not fully really read what this said, but I'm going to assume. Okay, you just have to flip them until they light up. Okay. Oh, there you go. Just go to the top ones. There. Boom. Oh, well, that was fucking easy. Damn right, because I'm the ultimate puzzle man. That's it. That's that's 100% it. That's going to be Resident Evil 2. I was just so good at puzzles. I put it on my put it on my resume. Puzzle man. But yes. Yeah, so How many I years have you been a puzzle man? I wouldn't say it's been a couple of years. I'd say I've been a puzzle man my whole life. I started as a puzzle boy. I was a puzzle journeyman. <laughs> for many years. Traveled to Europe and was backpacking. I was a puzzle backpacker. And that was not an easy life. Because <laughs> that was basically being professor. I lived, I lived by hand to mouth from puzzle to puzzle. Both sides of the altar are plinths and witches' cats. So you gotta put something on the plinths. Okay, so maybe... Put the dog! Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. He's the dog. No, no, I guess not. You have pliers? Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah. yeah. We got to find the other doggo. You have pliers? What do the pliers yeah. do? Um, the pliers are for removing, I think, a spike. You know what? This is very also adventure gamey. Because I have, like, this inventory of, like, oh, yeah, metal spikes, tools to use to remove spikes. So there's going to be a time where I need to remove a spike from something and I can use the pliers. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Very uh, adventure gaming, I was going to say. But yeah, um, Blues Brothers also felt like a complete accident that it was made. Uh, it, it absolutely was. Like It was just in that period of time where everybody was like, did that just happen? And you're like, yeah. Uh, not not Definitely not on purpose. Yeah, and that's why it's so hard to replicate those movies. That's why Blues yeah. Brothers 2000, besides the fact that they replaced... Um, the Belushi with the brother Belushi. Which was not a great move. No, it wasn't a great move. Which I still feel like... Oh, well, let me get it, I guess I can. Something moved inside the hole. Something shiny like fish scales. That's not good. I'm going to avoid that now. I'm gonna go away what if it's that. just fish? What if it's a ghost fish? Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. You never think about that. Ghost fish. I mean, I'm not super worried about ghost fish, but like... I've killed enough goldfish to know that that's a problem. Yeah. Actually, what is the one case of ghost fish that I've seen? I think the Castlevania series is the only series that has ghost yeah, fish. Yeah, maybe. In it. But it also has, like, zombie fish with, like, skeleton fish. What is this? Okay, I don't have seal earth. Go to. No, it doesn't look like a big tub here. No, this looks relatively new. The servant boy, Mia Shimaru, gave me some silkworm eggs. I saw many of these black eggs on the mulberry leaves. When I thanked him and gave him a toy to play with, he bowed He bowed to me again and again. Everyone ridicules Mia Shimaru and says he's a feeble-minded, but I like this gentle soul. And that's in June 17th. June 18th. I am keeping the silkworm eggs a secret from my mother and sister. They tell them they'll make a toss about them and they're squeamish. I watched them all day, but nothing happened. Tomorrow, I'll ask Miyashimaru if there's something special I need to do. Miyashimaru told me the eggs will be hatched in 10 days. They need to be kept in a warm place. I put them in the room that receives more sunlight. The eggs are turning gray. I was upset because I thought that they might have rotted. When I asked Miyashimaru, he said they should hatch very soon. The silkworms have broken out of their shells. They're very small, but the size of the fingertip and are covered with fur. 
Following Miyashimaru's instructions, I gave them young mulberry leaves, in which they gobbled at this rate, they'll grow quickly. That sounds so bad. So we're gonna fight giant bugs. Oh, man. <laughs> the video is done. <laughs> I don't, I'm not... Even though I just said I will gladly summon spiders. Actually, funny enough, giant bugs is not really what does it for me, in terms of spooky. Uh, I mean, I've owned tarantulas for a big chunk of my life, so... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not afraid of spiders unless they're like the super poisonous type but um yeah tarantulas are just pet rocks for the most part anyway like you the ones you can hold they just sit there they don't really do anything yeah i'm not real cool with tarantula i got no problem with a tarantula because they just live in their life they're not i really got no poisonous. problem with you tarantula exactly. you're just vibing <laughs> i respect you tarantula man i respect your hustle tarantula person exactly and then we both go our separate ways never having to see each other we're both in the car. Me on oh, go one up. Side. Me on one side. It's like the end of Fast and Furious 6. Yeah. Me and the tarantula looking at each other knowing that our lives are never going to intersect again. A long day without you, my friend. See you again. Isn't it funny? No, it's not funny because unfortunately Paul Walker is dead. But that Fast and the Furious has accidentally created one of the most emotional scenes in movie history. It's That's a little wild. I really do think about it because that scene is extremely hard to watch even when memed. Like even when, when, when you don't meme it and you just watch the scene for what it is, it does actually feel like someone's saying goodbye to a good friend of theirs. And that's enough for me to like, there's like a sincerity to it, a sincerity to it that is not oh, actually yeah. shown in big movies. And it makes me feel like, god damn, this, this sucks. Like, this entire situation is not great. But, uh, yeah, I always think about that with Fast and Furious. And I, I mean, you don't, you don't get, like, that sort of emotional honesty in a lot of things anymore, which is a, a really big ask, considering, like, it's just a mindless fucking action movie. But you can tell that, like, yo, Paul Walker was a real dude. We were close. Yeah, we played WoW together back in WoW. Playing WoW yeah. was an acceptable thing. The spike was used to suppress the gaki. Do not remove it under any circumstances. Whoops. Hey. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna find that. <laughs> One I think it's right happens. there. Where is it? Right here? No, no, go back towards the statue. Where is it? Right see that? There? See that little spike to the right? I do. I don't think it's wrong. Right. Oh, wait, yeah, right it's here. it's on that thing that's hanging in the wall. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna have to remove this and then book the shit out of here, right? Oh, this is absolutely gonna be a boss fight. Like, I have no doubts in my mind. I think what's gonna happen is that a ghost is gonna be summoned and I'm going to have to make... <laughs> break wind? I was gonna say break wind. Break like the wind. I can take care of this dude easy. Fire spell. Oh, really? Come on. Fireball. God. Fireball. I cast fireball of the darkness. Fireball. Really? Okay. I hit the suit of armor instead of the zombie man. All right, pick up that spike. Damn right. And stab that man. They're trying. I think he's in a weird place where I can't stab him. Though. Uh, maybe he's just dead. I mean, I'm fine with that, too. I feel like if I stay here too long, a ghost will show up. So I'm gonna make my way through. Making my way downtown, walking fast, cause these ghosts wanna eat my ass. <laughs> Alright, I think it's still weird that uh, I remember that song mostly for the scene in Scary Movie 2. Uh, White Girls had it for me. Like is when it? Terry Crews does it, yeah, it's it's phenomenal. If I remember right, the song is being played and she's trying to sing it on the radio, and then the the singer from it goes, "Bitch, can you stop? I'm trying to sing the damn song." Yeah. Oh, goodbye. Is that my dad? Uh, maybe, but you're going the wrong way. Is that isn't the dad this way? No, yeah, but you're totally missing out on the place we haven't gone yet. No, you're right. I'm also experiencing some crazy fucking vertigo. So that can only mean that whatever my dad's doing is none of my business. Did that? Hold on, go back a little bit. Does that not look kind of fucked up to you? There are huge scars on the wall made with great force. 
That seems like something I'm. That's a problem for future Wookie to deal with, <laughs> not current <laughs> walking through the maze Wookie. Goodbye, future Wookie. And believe it or not, I have an adversarial. There's three Wookies. There's past Wookie, present Wookie, and future Wookie, and all three of them are actively looking to fuck over the other one. I think everybody is looking to fuck over future me. Like I think that's just how my <laughs> life is works. Your public enemy number one. Yeah. You're like Spider Man, but without the irony of it. Being yeah, Jay no, J. Jonah Jameson, Jameson is like, how do we fuck over future Spoot? And he's like, it's it's easy. Just don't let him sleep. And you're like, you son of a bitch. Let's do it. Perfect. I hate this man. Brilliant. Give that man a race. Oh, wait, I hear something. Hey, should I go in that room before going over here? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. I'm going to avoid the spooky singing and go inside the room and see if there's anything for me. They're playing a biwa. Is that what it's called? The little tiny Japanese guitar. Hmm. I had no idea. Manor carriage. Well, something's coming towards me, so I'm probably going to have to go back inside there. Yeah, okay. Wait, just I'm murder it! I could just murder it, but I feel like it would be cooler if I dealt with the thing that's over here. And I want to save some of my fireball for whatever that lady ghost that's singing currently. Uh, it's time for Doggo. You What's have to channel your, in, your inner jujutsu. My inner jujutsu kaizen. Come to me, spirit puppy. Wait Obviously me. wait for the boss to show up. Yeah. Because we learned with the spiders, they do not live long. No. Uh, Ma'am? You need a permit? Is that the box again? I think so. Something fucking happened here, though. Yeah, this dude's dead. We got Earth. Look of terror frozen in this corpse's face. Guardian dog. So we can go back. Hell yeah, we got the other dog. T. Oh yeah, we getting crunk up in this bit. Oh, it's just dust. Dust. But that's good for when I inevitably get injured. Uh Ah, oh, yes, past cocaine. I love it. <laughs> Do you think that's what's in the dust? I mean, cocaine has a long history of being a pain reliever. It does. It numbs the pain. That's why so many... Yeah, people... like, you got, you got old heroin, you got laudanum, stuff like that. Like, it shit was... I mean, it was the number one, like, solver of problems back in the day. They're like, yo, you got ghost in your blood. <laughs> Fucking cocaine. God I'm so proud it. of you. Because I fucking moved that. Now this ghost is gonna be following me. Forever. That also genuinely scared me because I had nothing had been happening for a while. <laughs> well, also, I didn't think you were gonna be able to just knock something over. That was a weird touch. That is a weird touch. Can you can you go away, sir? Sir. Sir. Sir, we're in a pandemic. I need you to maintain six feet. Six feet, sir! Six feet. Six feet. Thank you. He's gonna still Damn be conservatives. <laughs> Today I went to the grocery store and there were at least three people I could look at and say, I do not want to be anywhere near you. At least the ghost seems to know that he can't go to Manor East. I'm going back yes. here because this is where the doggo was, right? Where the what was? Oh, yeah, that's where we're back here. If I remember correctly. I don't know exactly where. I'm, I'm always hanging in there. I think this is where you got the spike. This is. I'm leaving this room yep. of death. I'm usually... I have a weird uh, superpower, which is I my geolocation skills. Like, I memorize maps and stuff, like, mm -hmm. pretty rapidly. Really? I'm I'm not good with that at all. Oh yeah, man. I uh, I if I've lived where I've lived long enough that I can drive pretty much anywhere without knowing a, a road or a map or anything. That's crazy. I wish I had that ability. I'm so bad when it comes to directions, knowing where to go, and also <laughs> in general, just any. I think you can open that door behind you because it's that one. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Damn, you're right. You remember this place. 
Oh, this is the some of it. Room? No, but this is an item room, so fuck it. Spell card hand. Summon, summon, summoner, sum, summoner's wrath. Summoner's wrath. Maybe they're gonna give us the black dragon flame. That'd be pretty sick if that was near the end game of this. Right. They're like, hey, we're just gonna summon a demon. You're like, yeah, hell yeah, let's demon summon, baby. Oh wait. I don't think there was. We're not supposed to demon. summon demons. Oh yeah. Uh, well, even though they said that, I am summoning like little ghosts and friends. Yeah. Now I'm afraid of touching that shit because now I'm afraid I'm just gonna make a ghost show up. Right? What a weird thing. That is a weird thing. What kind of <laughs> game just makes? I it think weird it's game? further to the right. Might be right. Or no, that just ends up in a dead end, doesn't it? Yeah, it might be before these rooms. Maybe. All right, let's roll. We gotta go find dear old dad and be like, "Yo, why are you stuffing that lady in that yeah, box?" Yeah, vertigo stopped here. Could we go past here? Sounds are heard from the other side of the door. Oh, why are you looking? <laughs> why are you looking? <laughs> Good. Oh, shit. They warned me about this. Alright. Leave it through there. Did that you just like puke so, at you? Yeah, there was a fish thing living in there, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, I think the room is here. Because this is the room where we did all the little puzzle thingies. Maybe. Yeah, put that doggo on that stand. Yeah. Double what doggo time. Dog, dog, dog. What? The guardian dog. Use the two of them? Maybe you have to be like pointing at it the right way. I don't know. Sometimes they're really like contextually sensitive. Yeah, I see. Okay. I need Give me space. your treasure! Well, it's a space. gun! Oh, I, there was nothing I would want more if they're to, for there to scroll Big Dipper. Oh, I get to. Okay. What does this mean? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> That's the name of the stars in the Big Dipper. Isn't this that was also on the first uh, oh, puzzle. Yes, the that puzzle. was the middle piece. You're right. So there you go. There's the answer to that, but we don't need yeah, it. Yeah, we figured out the puzzle. Yes. So boom to that. Oh, is there something in there? Oh, this place was not open before. Yay. I have a feeling something's gonna be here. Alright, let me check my maps now. Where am I? Oh, I wish I knew what any of this meant. Okay, Alright, so, so your dad's where the big red box is. Yeah. I don't think he's there anymore, though. The is bell is in the northern pavilion. We've been to the quarters down below? No. I think it's red where I haven't been. Uh, maybe? Hmm, all very good questions. I'll go down for now and see what happens. There is one place I haven't gone. I just remembered. It was that place I ran away. Yes, the carriage area. To the carriage! That's what this you know is. what the Lone Ranger's favorite place to go is? The home? On the range? To the dump. Oh, to the dump. <laughs> You're to the dump. right about dump, that. Dump. And I think with that, we're going to call it for this, and then we'll I think do one more episode before Sleepy Spooch is... Oh, God! <laughs> He's right there. Oh, you forgot about that little potbelly idiot. You I fool! Mean... And I don't have my knife, but I have to just shoot him. All right, join us next time. I completely fucking forgot that he's left. The he's just been waiting there for me to return. He's he, he's just been sitting there with, like, his money out. And he goes, ma'am, I paid for chicken nuggies. I'm going to get these nuggies. All right, join us next time. Say goodbye, Spoot. Goodbye, Spoot. Thank you. <laughs>